Well, it's that time of the year to clean out lockers, sign your yearbooks, and say that you will see that person next year to teachers and classmates. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. We found one group of teenagers with big plans to meet up on the banks of rivers and on Lake Erie. It is the Mentor High School Fly Fishing Club. It's one of the few schools in Ohio that actually offer this type of yeah. extracurricular activity. And as we found out, they hope to reel in more schools oh, pretty soon. Easy. This is where Leslie Gare teaches biology to young, curious minds. A check of her walls reveals another side to the Mentor High School educator. I picked up a fly rod on my own, actually, and got really, really into it, probably my senior year of high school, and ever since then I've just been obsessed. Fishing on her grandfather's boat out of Headlands Beach State Park has led to a lifelong passion for the outdoors. Through teaching, she met many students who fished, but few had any fly fishing experience. Fly fishing is like the weight of the line is what you're casting instead of a heavy lure with big hooks on it. You're casting a fly, which mostly imitates like a bug or a bait fish, something like that. That keeps those claws separated. So last fall, Gare started Menor's very first fly fishing club, meeting every Thursday after school to learn the basics. And on this day, they were practicing a crayfish lure. On our first trip that we went on, I used one of the lures that we tied in class and I caught a pretty decently sized steelhead. The club took two fishing trips during the school year with a few more planned this summer. The catch is the immediate reward, but the lasting impact is more meaningful. Kids who might not otherwise have connected have now forged friendships, and that is not all. I care for the environment like a lot more now. Just knowing that any day like our rivers could just like dry up and our hobby could be gone, that's a big part of it. In the club's first year, Leslie Gare wasn't sure how many kids would show up. No need to worry about that in year two, but she still hopes their experience will lure others into joining. I want other schools around the area to think about maybe starting a club themselves and getting more kids involved in fly fishing. Especially around here, we have such great fisheries. And getting more kids into fly fishing and passionate about the outdoors is such a cool experience that they can have. Well, the first question obviously is where are those fishing spots? Because that's where everybody wants that's to go right. now. Uh, grants from the Ohio Educators Association as well as the Mentor Schools Foundation helped to get the club up and running. And they also received donated, donated items from some local fishing retailers. Those fly tying things are so cool. Uh, the hope is that one day more clubs will be formed and a fly fishing tournament among schools can be held, which I think is a pretty slick idea. I know one school that might get into that. Yeah? Yes, to go ahead and meet and mentor where they are. Right? Let's put it that way. I think way. there's a, so we have some really great world-class fisheries here in Northern yeah. Ohio with yeah. our rivers great for the lakes. trout and, and the steelhead and whatnot. And man, in the Rocky River, you see the waders on, everybody starting, and you know, there's still snow on the ground. They're out in the middle of the river. Oh, yeah. Just don't break your wrist. I mean, that's the whole thing, right? So uh, it, it truly is an art form, not only to learn to cast it, right. but to tie those flies. That, yes, that is amazing. It's an art itself. Very meticulous. This, this kid here at the end had said that I got a pretty decent sized fish. <laughs> She said and it's honey, the size of her leg. It's the size of my right leg. It's not. Goodness sakes. <laughs> it looked good, though. That's awesome.